everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a reoccurring special guest that shows up every once in a while. Uh, but for dinner tonight, for our family, we are making pot roast. And I think this is a great dish, especially for the holidays coming up. It just seems like a very cozy kind of dish and something that you can make for a big family gathering, like our family, mm -hmm. right? So, um, you want to share kind of where you got this recipe? And So, I got this recipe off of Food Network. And we tried it, and it really was great. It was It's a great recipe, so we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Yeah. So, what are we? What kind of meat are we using? So, um, I just got some um, uh, roast, a sirloin roast, and actually you can use any roast. The last time I think I used chuck roast, which has a bit more fat. So we'll see how this one turns out. How many pounds of, you know This is four pounds. Four pounds. Three, three points. Just about four pounds. So we're just going to generously uh, salt and pepper this um, roast on all sides. So you put the Dutch oven to medium, right? Medium. I put it to medium high. Right? And we're just going to generously salt and pepper on both sides. And we're actually going to let it sit a little bit. And we're going to cook our carrots and our onions. So this recipe does call for six to eight carrots. Um, unpeeled. unpeeled. Unpeeled, cut into two inch um, sections. So that's what I did that prior. So let just me just add some olive oil. Okay. And. Um, and we're just gonna brown the carrots and onions first. Do you want me to pour the whole thing inside? Uh, can you just, just let me. Oh, got it. <laughs> I thought I'm the sous chef. <laughs> okay, but you didn't do any sueing. <laughs> you didn't prepare any of them. We're gonna put in the carrots. Okay. And we're just gonna brown it, actually. What I do is just um, start with the onions and just brown the onions so it's not quite hot yet. Oh. It's sizzling. It's sizzling. So this is two onions. Right. So we're also going to use rosemary and thyme, and we have um, beef broth, beef broth, and some and wine. Some wine. Okay. So it's a pretty simple recipe. There's not that many ingredients. Yeah. Because after we fry it in here, then we're going to put it in the oven, right? Right. The recipe actually calls for a four-pound pot roast to be in the oven for four hours, but I'm going to use my convection oven, so I think it will be less time, like maybe. Two, two and a half hours. So, so hopefully we can eat this tonight because it's already late afternoon that we're starting this. So maybe we're crossing tonight. our fingers, but so we'll see. Well, we I might have to come back tomorrow night and eat it. Oh. Yay! We'll, we'll have another night. So what is it that you liked about this recipe the last time? Because it was really easy. You just um, sear the, the beef in the pot mm -hmm. and um, on all sides and then stick it in the oven. Right. And just actually just sear the, the, the onions. Right. And the carrots. So it you know give it a nice um, Can I use color. the tongs or something? Yeah maybe Turn this back over. You, know, so you might have to cut some off. Ah oh, you poked me. <laughs> it's dangerous. What is it that you like about the Dutch oven? So I do love the Dutch oven because one, it seems to have the right heat for ma making the, the roast. So when I put the meat in, it just cooks so nicely, it browns really nicely. And um, then of course you can just stick it in the oven. Mm. And when the cleanup, the cleanup has always been really easy. Like nothing seems to stick to it. It just um, you know, it just, is it brown? Oh, yeah, good, nice, nicely brown. Yeah, so it's, it's an easy cleanup as well, you know, even if you cook in it. So I, I really do enjoy it very much. Um, yeah? Okay, no problem. Oh, well, take them out? Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna just toss in the carrots. And do the same thing. Brown them all. Mom, Here's your hair. Where? Oh, this might be yours. No, it's too short. So we're looking for a nice brown um, coat. 
So this is the second time you're making this dish. Mm -hmm. so grandma and grandpa used to make this kind of stuff growing up, or not really? This is an American dish, yeah. So if you don't have um, a Dutch oven, do you think you could use a regular pot for this? Mm -hmm. Or how? Or if your pot can go into the oven. Most pots can. Most pots, like our, my other stainless steel pot, my I cook, can go into the oven. So if, you, if your pot can't go into the oven. 400. So this one would be at 275. So, yeah. so if your pot can't go into the oven, then yeah. you can't make this dish. You have to make it a different way, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I would just put it in a slow cooker, right? Yeah. I think that would be fun. I'll link the one that she has below in the description. You can check it out if you're in the market for a Dutch oven. So I brown it about a minute on each side until you get a nice brown um, cook or a nice brown <laughs> color. Nice brown color. color. Nice brown color. And it's about a minute on each side. So I'm going to do the sides of the roast as well. Is that a nice? Oh. Oh. We're using some. Joel got red wine tab for our dish. So let's be glazed with the wine. So how much are you going to put the whole cup in? No, no, just put a little bit. Okay. Okay. okay, then add some more. Oh, so we're getting excited here. Okay, now let's put it back in. And then we're going to add the beef broth. The whole thing? The whole thing? Yeah. And then I'm going to add everything back in. So this is how much puffs of beef puff? Three cups. Three cups. Yeah, that's right. And the wine. Add the rest okay. of the wine. And we may have to add more broth. It's It has to cover cover the um, beef. Let's add the vegetables in first. Can we do it? Oh. Okay, we're gonna add in some rosemary. rosemary. You're gonna just leave, put it in like that? Yep. It says two to three sprigs, and I think this is like two to three sprigs, don't you think? It's a big sprig. And we, you know, went to the market today and they did ha not have any fresh thyme. So we're gonna, I mean, yeah, we're, we're just gonna use um, thyme from the bottle. So I hope that works as well. So. Not enough thyme. <laughs> okay, so I think. It does have to be covered, so we are going one to... more broth? Yeah. And Can I just pour broth. the rest? Because there's not that much Yeah, left. we might need... I'll just show you something. It's a cup. It's going to be a cup. You're so smart. Yeah, so put it in. Okay. okay. One cup left of the broth, and then any more of the wine or no? Um, maybe a little bit more wine then. Okay. Maybe like a half, half a cup? More. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. okay. So... It's not quite right. covering, Mom. Is that okay? Wow, yeah, we can see it in the oven. Here so, how long are we putting it in the oven for? We're going to try for two and a half hours. At 275 degrees? Right. Okay. Got my two little cupcake gloves and flowers. <laughs> it matches you perfectly. It matches. Yeah. Does it fit? It fits. Yay. Awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you laugh now, but you never know. All right, there it goes. Okay, we'll see you in two and a half hours. Looks like it's ready. It's really soft. Ooh. Ooh. It feels like it's gonna fall apart here. That's the best type. Oh, it's soft. Ooh, it's that soft. Ooh, wow, that looks so good.
Fresno. Yeah, that's a fan. It's really good. Mm. Very good. Grandma Gail and Nancy Carrie did a good job. Mmm. It's very tender and very soft. I think you could do the little salt. <laughs> but other than that, this is a. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. To I missed it. it. It's, it's better if you have to add salt. It's always better. You, you, you know why? Because the last time I used Hawaiian salt, but this is amazing grape salt. Yeah. But the flavor is really good with yeah. the wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And it's a very easy recipe. Oh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know if you want to see my mom again in another oh, one. She loves be being great. featured. I don't have to go to jail for my But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.